Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Jamie and in this video we're going to create a lightweight HTML5 application in the HANA Cloud platform. We'll use the openweathermap.org weather service as a connectivity destination and we'll also use the HANA Cloud Git repository to show how to create a web app and have version control of the application. This application also uses the SAP UI5 libraries. In order to accomplish this task, you will need to have an instance set up in the HANA Cloud platform, and you will need to have configured the Eclipse IDE and HANA Cloud tools. You can find videos for these prerequisites, as well as many videos on web development in the SAP HANA Academy YouTube channel. For the syntax used in this video, please see the video description where we'll provide a link to the video script. To start, go to the HANA Cloud Platform Cockpit and switch to the HTML5 Applications tab. Create a new application and name it Temp Demo. Press the Save button. Now click on the name of the new app and then go to the Development tab and copy the link for the Git repository URL. Before we clone this Git repository, we need to configure the Git settings for our Eclipse IDE. In Eclipse, go to the Window menu and choose Preferences, and then choose Team, Git, and Configuration. You'll need to have identical entries for the two core values that you see, and you need to add personalized entries for the two user values like you see here. If you use a proxy, you'll also need to add the HTTP proxy entry using, of course, the proxy settings that are applicable to your environment. As an example of adding a setting, press the Add Entry button and then enter 4.autocrlf and for the value it will be false and then press the OK button. After you're finished with all of the Git configuration entries, press the Apply button and then press OK. Switch to the Git Perspective by going to the Window menu, Open Perspective, Other, and choose Git, then OK, and click on the Clone a Git Repository button, and paste in the URL that you copied before from the HANA Cloud Cockpit. Make sure that you provide the username and password for your SAP HANA Cloud Platform trial account and then press Next. Ensure that Master is checked, press Next, and then press Finish. Now in the new Temp Demo Git repository, right-click and choose Import Projects. Ensure that you have Import as General Project checked, press Next, and then press Finish. Switch to the web perspective in Eclipse. And then right click on your temp demo project and choose new file. And we're going to name this index.html. Click finish. Now you'll want to go to your script and copy the syntax for the index.html file and paste it in and then save the file. The next step is to create a file named neo-app.json. Click Finish and once again paste in the syntax that you can copy from the script. Once that's complete, press the Save button. The next step is to push the changed app from our local repository back to the HANA Cloud. Right click on your Eclipse project, Temp Demo, and select Team, and then Commit. Provide a short commit message so that you can identify the app version in Git later on. For example, 
we're going to put add index HTML and neo app JSON file. Select all of the files and press commit and push. If prompted, you may wish to provide your HCP credentials and click on OK. And ideally, you would store your credentials with the store in secure store so you won't always be prompted to enter these. If all went well, you should see a done message and then you can press OK to finish the commit and push. Now switch back to the cockpit for your trial account on the SAP HANA Cloud platform and click on your HTML5 application. You should now see your commit message above the initial commit. As the NeoApp JSON file needs a destination, you'll notice that there is a message under the Reference Destinations block telling you that a destination is missing. This is the next step that we need to accomplish. Switch back to the account level in the cockpit and click on the Destinations tab and click on New Destination and enter the details that you see below. And once again, you can get this information from the script, which is available on the description of this video. And at the end, scroll down and click on Save. As a result, you should now see the new destination listed. Select the HTML5 Applications tab once again and click on your Temp Demo app and click on the Development tag. Now the destination should be available. You can click on the link underneath the Commit Message header and a new tab is opened up in your browser and you should see the app up and running. But the link you've clicked on is only accessible to you as the developer of the application. If you want to make it accessible to others, we need to version our commit and activate this new version. To provide access to your application for others, go back to the cloud cockpit and in the list of available commits, select the commit where you added the index HTML file and the JSON file and then press the create version icon at the end of the line. Provide a version name like 1.0 and click on Save. Now switch to the Version Management tab and you should see the version that you just created. The next step is to click the Activate icon and you will get a message telling you that the version has been activated and that the changes will be effective after a restart of the application. Confirm the question if you really want to do this with a click on Yes. Switch back to the HTML5 application dashboard and at the top you should see the state of your application is now set to started. You'll also see a URL for the 1.0 named version of your app. This is also the URL that others can use to access your application. This concludes the lesson on creating a lightweight web app in the HANA Cloud platform. For more videos on using SAP HANA, please go to youtube.com and search for SAP HANA Academy. You can also follow us on Twitter from username SAP HANA Academy. Thanks for watching.